Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, this time I'm talking about axes finally. So I'm going to show how I'm going to craft my new axe. And hopefully it works because uh, it's all ready to go. And after I've uh, shown you how I got to this uh, stage, uh, we'll see what pops out. So I'm using Necropolis, obviously it's a crafting league, so Necropolis seems like a pretty insane way to craft axes. So that's why I'm uh, doing it that way. Um, if you don't already know, you can go to um, Craft of Exile and they they have a crafting calculator for uh, crafting with Necropolis. So that's kind of your first step. Uh, you want to go to Craft of Exile, uh, you hit two-handed weapons, two-handed axe, and you hit graveyard craft, craft here. Uh, graveyard, click that. Um, and then you can compute best selection. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> you need to put on some assets before you do that. <laughs> Skipping it. Uh, so we want T1 um, on the three fizz modifiers. Both of the but the hybrid fizz, the flat fizz here, and then just increased fizz. Uh, T1, T1, T1. And we also want T1 attack speed. And that's all we pretty much care about for the X. Okay. So I've got it selected up here. And then we can compute our best selection. And then it runs a generator and then it pops out something pretty shit to be honest. So I'll show you a better I messed around with it for a bit and got to a point where um, it's a I'll show you a better vision anyway. I'll show you what it shows and then I'll show you the better vision. Uh, well this is the better vision, we'll wait while it loads. Um, so it's got nine physical modifiers, five speed modifiers. But there is um that's the, the total stats here. And you can see it's got a 34% chance to um, to be successful, for the craft to be successful. So one out of three chance, takes three goes. Um, wait for, I think we have to give it to the tab for it to load. So we'll do that. Uh, they usually pop out an X, which takes about four goes. Um, and it's a lot different. I'll wait for this to load and then I'll show you the sort of ins and outs of it and how you can adjust it to make your craft better for yourself um, and then yeah so this tab I got the better axe and then this tab I've got the axe that I'm actually going to craft and I'll tell you the reasons why it's different from the best better axe yeah, surely okay so this is what it pops out something with four tries and 28.4 percent notice it has very different mods on it um, so the thing with uh, axe crafting is you want these really high physical damage um, mods on it. The other th the, the thing that sucks with that is um, mana and life leech. Mana leech and mo life leech both count as physical uh, for some reason. So every time you increase your physical thing, you also have an increased chance you can generate a, a sample item to 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 hit this like uh, life leech here. So yeah, it's got a physical tag on it, and then uh, this is a good axe and mana leech here too. So you've got to kind of put up your physical, um, you increase your physical chance, but at the same time you got to like chuck in like a couple of uh, mana scarcities and a couple and a life scarcity every time you do. It's like this balancing act you have to play. Um, and every time you do that, uh, yeah, you get a better chance. So this is what I ended up with anyway. 34.7%, three tries. Uh, it's very different. So it's 40, 4,500% increased chance, 2,500 increased speed. I'll go up here so you can see exactly how many of the modifiers there are. So none at the top here, you got like nine physical, 5 speed, 3 chaos, 4 elemental, 
five gems, fifteen life, twenty-seven mana. But this is, kind of doesn't really mean anything because in your graveyard you can have increased effect. So this is basically with a with a graveyard with no effect. So you can make it even better X while using the effect um, uh, the effect modifiers that you can get in the graveyard anyway. So it's um so this is like you could probably get up to like forty five percent I think if you um if you max it. But there is an even better way than that of doing it. So this is what I ended up with for Minecraft, right? So it's a worse chance, it's only 29% and 4 tries on average. But the thing is, in my graveyard, I've got 3 copies of it coming. Uh, you see I've got less graves used because I've used um, the graves for other things. In Craft of Exile you can't put in that you're going to use, for instance, effect. Or you can't put in that you're going to use quality on your weapon. You can't put in that you're going to use um, copying it or fracturing it and all that stuff. So it's just going to calculate as if it's just 88 natty spots, basically. But there is this amazing tool, uh, Pseudos PoE Tools. This is the URL here. I'll uh, link it under the video. Um, and here you can actually put in, you can copy and paste the URL for um, for your peer, for your Craft of Excel calculator. You copy and paste it into here, and then you calculate it. I don't want to do it now because I'll wreck it. But you can calculate it, and it will um, give you the best uh, best outcome and the best layout uh, according to how you've set up your graveyard. So you put in all your modifiers. This is how I've set it up. It's probably not optimal, but it's how I've done it. Um, I don't know if I can link this. I'll try link. I'll tr oh, yeah, I can. I can export it. Can I export it? Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll export this one and I'll chuck the link to this under the video as well. Um, it's, it's not optimal, but it's pretty good. Uh, I spent ages on it. <laughs> so, so it's pretty good. And we'll see what it produces soon. Uh, so this is a, um, this will tell us the stats here. So it's got two explicit, extra two explicit modifiers. So your weapon usually comes just with like four explicit modifiers on it. So having an extra two means that it's definitely going to hit six um, six modifiers on it, which gives you the extra chance to, to hit the stuff you want, basically. Uh, if you don't have six modifiers on it, it's got a far, far lower chance of hitting like all your prefixes uh, or your suffix or whatever. 32% um, quality, well, it's actually 30% quality, 30% quality. Um, uh, modifier to tier rating, so what that does is you need about 900 to make sure you hit all T1s, basically. Um, you're never going to hit a T2 if you've got this tier rating. Um, and this is a 209% chance to craft an additional item. So if you have a 100% chance to craft an additional item, you're definitely going to craft um, two things. If you have 200%, you're definitely going to craft three things. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to get three axes. Uh, this is an increased f chance of physical modifiers uh, and speed, and that's because that's, that's all just crowd to be exile stuff anyway. The rest of the yeah, so that, that's all the tricky stuff there a little bit. But that's why I had to do um, like a bit of an adjusted um, crowd of exile. But yeah, I'll send a I'll um, link uh, the, these both, so you can just copy and paste it uh, into your browser. And then you'll be able to make the same axes. Um, hopefully they're not bad, <laughs> but we'll see. You have to put in like the modifiers in here. It's kind of clunky. I don't know if it's just my screen. Maybe I just don't have the resolution or something. But um, you can't really see the letters when you do this. But yeah, so uh, it's a really good tool. Uh, makes life way easier. And you just refer to this, and then you put in like how many you've got. You've got a little list here, and you can see if you've got like, you know, how many. Like when you start shopping for them, you can. Um, say that I've got one or two or whatever. Man, honestly, shopping for them takes ages. I was using TFT and it just, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a bit of a uh, barrier to entry as the shopping for the items for the corpses. So yeah, basically my goal was craft a dank, um, dank X and then multiply it by three times. But well, yeah, so I get three X's. And hopefully one of those hits, you know. If it doesn't, then, um, well, I don't know. It sucks. <laughs>
it, I might try just do like one super yet super X next time then if, if it doesn't hurt. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's a little bit of a gist of, of what I did. Anyway, it's like uh, yeah. So hopefully it um, comes out with something cool. And we can generate. Oh man, if it hurts this, I'll be happy. You know. Boom. Done. No, it's got life leech. Maybe not. I wouldn't be happy. Okay, that one. No, I'll be happy with that one. So yeah, you can generate uh, what the sample item's going to be. And yes, yeah, mana leech there. Oh, that's good. Life leech. It's good. Mana leech. So yeah, let's do it for real, eh? See what pops out. Man, I hope it's something good because it's honestly took me forever. All right, here we go. Yeah, I clicked the wrong thing. Make a wand or something. Uh, or a sword. Jeez. This part. Ready to go. Okay, swing. Complete. Oh, I got four. Nice. This is good. Is it? Is this? No. Damage over time multiplier. Yes, this is good. Alright. That's uh, 1100 DPS. Nice. This one is. Where'd the prefix go? This one doesn't have a prefix, but it's also. It's a prefix. It's pretty good. I can craft with that. This one's got elemental. Nice. So I've got one good axe. Really good axe. Okay, cool. I have with that. I'm going to replace this firing. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tempering orb this. And I'm also going to craft on these to see if I can hit something good as well. Man, I didn't didn't know I wouldn't get. And I'm going to try and null that mana. I'll try and see if I can do that now. Alright. And now the mana leech. I don't know if we can do much with that. Might try to do some. Interesting. Okay, well, let's throw it away, we'll do it. Um, I can still win. Let's go. Delete that. Um, elemental attack damage, it sucks. Try and all that. Nice! Okay, now I need to annul a suffix if I can. If I can annul a, annul a suffix, I can um, veil it orbit and put on a prefix. So I'll do that. Perfect, sweet. I'm gonna craft on this too. We'll be able to make a pretty easy 900 GPS X out of this. And this is already, okay, but I need to, I need to remove a suffix on this as well. So we have it only has I don't know why that is. Perfect. Nice. Can craft on both of these. And then I'm gonna use this in the meantime. So I went from having a 788 DPS X to an eleven hundred DPS X. And uh, how close is this to pretty good. I don't think I need to divine it. Yeah, I don't think I'll define that. Will I define it? Could be worse. Could be better. Yeah, I'll define it. Okay, 1120. Oh, here we go. I actually, what I really want to do, if I had, if I was brave, is I would annul off the bleeding, or whatever, damage of time. And I'll offer some attack speed, I don't care. And I'll offer suffix, reforge speed on it, and then um, Ashling the suffix on, and hit something dank, and then um, Warlord slam it. So that's what I'll do if uh, if I was brave. But I'm not, and this is pretty sick apps anyway. It's going to be over 1200 DPS by the time I tempering orbit and stuff. So um, 
I'll let you know when that happens. And wow, I've just had a massive, uh, massive upgrade uh, in uh, my character. So actually, so my bone chat is 44,000 DPS with that X. Now that's 59,000. So that's like, you know, a third damage upgrade. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, was well, successful. I'll tempering orbit and then I'll um, then I'll put on the uh, then I'll put on the uh, links. Well, I don't need links, but I'll put on the all the slots sockets. Sorry, started not being able to think for a second. <laughs> Brain broke down. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So I'll tempering orbit, put on the sockets, and then it'll be I'll be away, leap swimming in no time. Um, very very happy <laughs> man i'm so happy <laughs> and also these ones are going to be sick axes as well once i'm done with them i'll have to farm up some new veiled orbs and um yeah these these gonna be these are gonna be both a thousand dps as well so uh cool and then once if these get really good if these if those, both of these get really good i can maybe be brave enough to try hit the, <laughs> the nl on this i don't really know if i want to uh but yeah we'll see um cool that's my thoughts on anyway. Let me know if you've got any questions. I don't know how well I explained that, but I'll send all the links to... Oh, actually, uh, let me... Sorry, let me talk about the graveyard a bit. Uh, oh, it's gone now. But um, with the effects, uh, the effect... Actually, it's probably way easier to talk uh, with these squares rather than looking at the graves. Um, so these are all those 40% increased... Uh, there it is. So you, you know these, co these corpses here, increased effect of human on corpse human uh, whatever type of corpse adjacent to the corpse so these are all um additive they're not multiplicative so what that means is say you've got your fizz your increased fizz is like 500 percent increased normally right and you add 40 percent it comes to 700 percent so you get an extra 200 um if you if you have one of them there, if you have another one there, then it just adds another 200. It doesn't multiply the 700 by an extra 40%. So that's how that works. And then you've got your row as well, which adds the whole row. So that's a row. And you have to remember, a row is like a row of seats and a column is like a pillar. A column like holds it. So a, a column goes up and down and a row is sideways. That's that's how I remember it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so effect is additive, so it's just going to add based on the the base uh, uh, chance on uh, the base uh, stat on the item. So if, yeah, it's always going it's to it doesn't multiply itself. Um, I think it's always worth putting these forty percent things places as long as it hits three squares. It's worth it. Because you can think of it like 40% plus 40% plus 40% is 120%. So you're getting an extra 20% um, on top of using, like, uh, that, that you would be if you just used four normal ones without having the increased effect. So if it's hitting three squares, it's worth it. If it's hitting two squares, it's not worth it because it's only 80% increase. And so you're losing 20%. Uh, you can kind of do a pattern like this, like I've done here. There's probably better patterns, but this is what I stand settled on. I'm trying to put in the rows and the columns together as well, in, in, in smart, kind of smart places. This is how I put mine. I'll, I'll, I'll link, I'll export this and link it below the video so you can see exactly what it is. And then play with it yourself, you know, that's how you learn. That's how I learn anyway. Um, yeah, so you want to quality your X from the start you want to get that because there's no way to get 30 percent quality otherwise so you need it from the graveyard and as you saw the increased chance to craft an additional item is crucial i really recommend doing that rather than trying to go for extra chances it also means you don't have to trade for like a literal lifetime <laughs> to, to, to get all the corpses <laughs> three times you just have to do it once so this is more than worth it doing the even though it gives you a lower chance of getting a good axe. As you saw, like, if you hit the annuls, you can still get, like, you can still craft and, and have good axes, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll actually go now. And um, let me know if you've got any questions on it. 
Um, I, I'm pretty new to, obviously I'm pretty new to Necropolis crafting because it's been out for nine days. <laughs> but you know, I've, I did spend quite a while um, looking at this and figuring out what was the best. And it, look, it just worked for me. You know, I mean, hang on, what, what is this worth? Uh, let's see. What is it, 1100 EPSX worth? Okay, so not as much as it used to be. Uh, let's make sure it's got, okay, so 33 divine. Mm. Yes. Worth a bit though. Alright. <laughs> Sweet. I'll um, catch you later. Thanks for watching and um, good luck on your cross. Let me know if you hit something good. Catch you later.